how long does foreclosure take in New York? My name is Hector Villatoro. I'm the broker for RB Realty. And today I want to talk to you about something that happened to many of our people and our clients. And I want to provide some information about this topic that might be of your help. The foreclosure depends on various and different things like the lenders, how the lenders start the process. As you know, foreclosure is a legal process in which a lender decides to take the property and resell it after a certain amount of mispayment. There are few steps in between missing payments and having your home foreclosed. Each stage process can be slightly different than what the federal government states. Here is the New York foreclosure timeline. From day one to 90 or three months, the lender will send or must send information to get help within at least 90 days before starting court case. Day 90 foreclosure case started and summon and complain with court serves your summons it's called list pending. Day 91 to 120, your answer to the complaint is to day 121. You either start the mandatory settlement conference or judge may sign a foreclosure judgment for itself that is advertised for at least 21 days. Now that you understand the New York timelines, let's go through the definition of the different step in the process. Number one, mispayment. The entire process starts with a mispayment. As soon as you begin missing payment, lender begin the process of monitoring your account and prepare to take action after a certain period of time. In New York, the lenders cannot begin a foreclosure process until a specific number of, day, of days after your first missed payment. If this is not enough time for you to get back on top of your missed payments, the process will continue. Number two, notice of default after 120 days has passed in your last payment. Your lender can now send you a notice of default letter. This will be a public notice that is sent through your county records office. Number three, pre-foreclosure. Once you are sent the notice of default, you typically have some time to either work something out with your lender or fully pay back your missed payments. If you are able to pay the missed payments, the foreclosure will end up in and you will continue paying off your house as normal. If you are not able to do either, your foreclosure will go forward. Number four, auction. In New York, foreclosure may happen quickly. In fact, most houses are put up for auction after a notice of default. The lender will set a date for the house to be auctioned on, during which the time you will still at that time you still maintain the right of redemption, meaning if you can bring cash that cover the outstanding balance in your loan, the foreclosure auction will be stopped. If you cannot do this, the house will be sold to the highest bidder with cash payment. Oftentimes, the bank will buy back the house if there are no cash bidders. Number five, post foreclosure. If a third party doesn't end up buying the house 
and the bank or lender now owns the property. They will continue trying to resolve it. During this time, if you are still in the house or property, the new owner can have you evicted. While avoiding the, avoiding the threat of foreclosure altogether is a best decision, it can be hard to stay on top of your payment when life happens because this is, as we know, important to have ways that can help stall or even stop foreclosure from happening. Let's take a look at some steps that you can take to save your home from foreclosure. If you like to get other tips and information about to save your home, call or follow us. We're here to provide information to you that will help you any way we can. My name is Sector Villatoro. Our company is RB Realty, and we're here to see if we can help you save your house if that's your situation. Our number is 631-617-5135. Thank you very much.